Konnichiwa minasan! Batam des! Kat mimi des! Dark Knight Reactors Channel iyo kaso! Kon kaiwa ni Han no shimasu! How a Shinkansen Bullet Train Factory is made in Japan! Ooh! Okay! Channel no kaze to! Sore de wa sasuko! Hajime masho! This is how a Shinkansen Bullet Train Factory is made in Japan! Ooh! Wow! Ooh, the doctor. Doctor Yellow. Doctor Shinkansen. I'm Hamamatsu Shizuoka, and I got a special one for you. I'm taking you to a Shinkansen bullet train factory today, and I'm gonna take you on a full tour. So I've never done this before. I've never gone inside of a train factory. In fact, I've kind of always wanted to do this, and now today we get to do it. So I'm super, super excited for this. Me too. Us too. Then check out my Instagram account if you guys want to help support the channel. Check out my Japan merch, and if you have any questions about Japan or Japan travels, then check out my Facebook community. Let's get started. Let's go! So I'm here at JR Central Hamamatsu Workshop, aka Train Factory. It's the one and only location in Japan that conducts a complete overhaul inspection that fully disassembles, repairs, and reassembles Taito Shinkansen bullet trains, the most popular and busiest train line in Japan. It started as a repair shop in 1912 for steam locomotives, and over time, as technology evolved, so did the workshop, servicing trains across the ages from electronic locomotives, electric trains, and now Shinkansen. Today, there are a total of about 1300 hard-working JR Central staff. Wow, the they keep on developing the to ensure that and all making. Of the Shinkansen trains are operated at peak performance and safety. And what do you know, sure. I'm the first yes. YouTube content creator to ever visit this workshop. So we're oh, okay, mm -hmm. it is the first one. one. Right, so I made it inside. You're so it. lucky. Right Very lucky guy. Let's see what I'm going to wear. <laughs> There you go. Ooh, yeah, the protective gears. So I've got my helmet on. Time to find the trains. Hi, can you show me inside? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's all. Mm -hmm. Wow, the Shinkansen workshop is so massive. And why I want to call it a train factory or mm -hmm. even train maintenance plant to better capture its scale. The entire property is about 318,000 square meters, just over 78 acres. Oh, there's a Shinkansen wow. coming into the plant. Right after the train arrives, it goes through its so first cute. inspection and diagnostic, which determines what types of extra maintenance and service is required. So wow. I got into this area. Let's see what's going on here. Yes, let's travel. Let's find out. After the wow. initial inspection, the train is ushered into the Maya Sagyoba, pre-maintenance mm -hmm. area. A Shinkansen train mm -hmm. usually consists of 16 carriage cars, but coming into this area, it's already been separated into four stripped down mm -hmm. carriage cars. In order to maintain and service wow. the Shinkansen, the workers must take it apart section by section and then piece by piece, as each must go through a piece strict and rigorous piece. inspection process. This requires for each piece to be transported to various mm -hmm. areas of the plant so different teams can work on the different sections simultaneously. Hence, the requirement for so much space in fact the workers are divided into four teams body parts, oh my god even the lead yeah worker he's checking the lead they are so careful control. yeah before being allowed to service the train the oh, inspection is on the seats now it seems like there's a lot for them to do in oh fact, no. there's so much work too that much takes work my sagaba that it requires about 60 workers wow. to finish one carriage <gasps> wow everything's gone so I'm inside of the train right now and you can see that it's all taken apart. It's pretty awesome. Oh cool, let's go see what's up here. Very cool. Yeah. So I'm just above the train right mm -hmm. now. I climbed the stairs and you can see it's a little bit dirty, but by the time it gets out of here, it's going to be polished and cleaned up. Wow. Once the four carriage cars have been stripped, they're individually separated and moved to the dismantling warehouse. So I think I've just arrived a little bit early, but the train should be coming here mm -hmm. and separate the body and the wheelbase. <gasps> there! In order to move the train carriages onto the service tracks, they're attached to powerful... Wow, very vehicles, impressive. Like pulleys, I impress so much. ...which can up to four carriages at one time. Oh, and that's a traverser, which moves the trains from one warehouse to the next. Damn, I don't know what it oh is. Oh my oh, god, look at the technology. Oh my god. So that's very heavy. And because of their technology, 
It's a piece of cake. On the warehouse location, yeah. The entire moving process could take oh my god. Minutes. Easy work. To say the least, it's a massive effort to move Very these impressive. So it's slowly and you know? To ensure safety of all of the workers. The Hamamatsu Workshop Factory works on up to four Shinkansen at one time. In they fact, called it factory, they right? Oh, yeah. About 50 Shinkansen, 800 carriages each year. I love it. Mm, wow. Mm-hmm. Now that the carrier Work is safely started. inside the dismantling warehouse, a new team of workers can start their task. First, mm -hmm. the entire train carriage is raised up via specifically designed lifts to allow for safe undercarriage access. These powerful machines can lift a train that weighs up to 40 tons, about two and a half meters high. See, that's the technology that I'm telling person. you guys. Hi, what are you doing? <laughs> a woman! A woman! Wow. A woman! I want to walk to work there. I want to be a maintenance. Yes, wearing that attire. Bad team. <laughs> Once fully lifted, the workers begin to I promise I will not ruin the train. Well yeah, I hope. Underfloor <laughs> Again, all these sections and parts are destined for a separate warehouse in the plant. Oh and God. what's truly amazing about this process is how much, mm -hmm. even with such a massive scale transportation vehicle like a Japanese bullet train, is performed by worker technical skill and hand. Each worker, though, is required to engage in a two and a half month training program at the start of their career, culminating into a strict in house test wow. certification that must be passed, plus any mm -hmm. additional. Mm -hmm. Training and licenses for jobs like a crane operator, ultimately facilitating oh, an efficient need a and safe working too. environment. Oh, Damn, okay. Look at that train Where will I get a uh, license? Guide the undercarriage into this orange undercarriage traverser, which automatically transports them into a neighboring warehouse for inspection and maintenance. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my lord. <laughs> Mm -hmm. They all have the, the, patch, the workers focus on disassembling the electronics and other equipment under the carriage. This is a critical part in the process as the workers must be diligent in taking inventory of all the parts removed mm -hmm. to ensure that not a single piece is in its place. Yes, oh. yes, that's true. As an important piece of their workflow, workers use specialized tablets to track each individual part and information about each part mm -hmm. so that it properly gets maintained and reassembled in the correct location. See that? Wow. How, how Japanese uh, maintenance and workers here are very uh, organized. I'm so surprised with the video. Thank you so much to the owner of this one. Yeah, we credit you the video. Oh my god. Very impressive. Love it. Yeah. That's all I can say. Very impressive. Those workers are uh, hardworking. They are very clean, very mm -hmm. organized. And look at them they are very dedicated to what they are doing at the same time smaller parts like bolts and screws are generally replaced with new ones okay. mm -hmm. transported to the cleaning warehouse let's follow the undercarriage to see what happens to it in the next building <laughs> this place literally is just blowing me away it is a so so massive there's just so much space but i guess it makes sense when you're dealing with so many trains that come through here Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. You can see just behind me they're taking the wheels off the base. The undercarriage, Daisha in Japanese, is composed of the frame chassis, wheels, axles, and motors. In order for the undercarriage to be fully inspected, each part must be disassembled to separately undergo its own exhaustive testing. What? That's a lot of work. As the components are separated, they're mm -hmm. sent to diagnostics. And parts like the axles are inspected via ultrasonic sensors, magnetic particles, wow, and armistone. It's very to safe. It's free from defects, while wheels are turned and reprofiled with an accuracy mm -hmm. of a tenth of a millimeter. Even the smallest of components, such as the bearings, are inspected. Hmm. Oh wow, that giant orange crane is used for lifting up the frame. Oh. Yes. All right, let's see what's going on here. It's a, uh, you know. Oh, this is their undercarriage big hydraulic inspection room. Once all of the undercarriage components pass their individual inspections, they're reassembled mm -hmm. to make a complete undercarriage, which then undergoes a running test at speeds of 300 kilometers per hour or about 806 miles per hour. The same top speed the Shinkansen would operate on their fastest mm -hmm. stretch on the Sanyo line. 
Hi, can I ask you some questions? Hi. What are you doing? I'm going to be able to do some questions. I'm going to be able to do some questions. I'm going to be able to do some questions. I'm going to be able to do some questions. I'm going to be able to do some questions. I'm going to be able to do some questions. I'm going to be able to do some questions. I'm going to be able to do some questions. I'm going to be able to do some questions. I'm going to be able to do some questions. I'm going to be able to do some questions. I'm going to be able to do some questions. I'm going to be able to do some questions. I'm going to be able to do some questions. Thank you. Hi, I don't know that much. Once the automated test has run its course and the undercarriage receives a passing result, it must then undergo a manual inspection in order to mm -hmm. move on to the next stage. <laughs> and this is where all of the disassembled equipment and parts are cleaned and repaired. Mm. Ah, this is kind of interesting. Let's see what's behind that door over there. Hey guys! What are you doing? Why do you have to do this? Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Look and spiffy. Mm -hmm. This room is where the pantograph gets inspected and maintained. You know, the top part of the train that connects to the electrical power lines? Interestingly, mm -hmm. all of the components used for equipment inspection and repair are prepared in advance and the components such as bolts and packaging are preset in a fixed position mm -hmm. in dedicated trays. In total, there are about 450 different component kit trays to help manage parts and about 300 unique trays are used in one mm -hmm. day. Look at this, even every single tool has their spot. So I'm right in front of the lead Shinkansen train and it's gonna be polished right now. Oh. After the body is thoroughly cleaned and repaired, it's transferred to the Toso warehouse, body paint. Okay, for body paint. Mm -hmm. So this giant transparently walled area is where the Shinkansen body gets polished. The Shinkansen <gasps> is so massive that automated wow. robot arms are used to ensure that the paint is applied evenly. And just <gasps> before this, the wow. leading Impressive Shinkansen again. receives a specialized automated polishing treatment in this specific area. Due to its unique aerodynamic shape, the polishing creates a more adhesive surface for the paint application. The mm. other carriages are moved to a separate area wow. that's more equipped for standard sidewalls and roof polishing. Ready! <clears throat> and here it looks like the body and the wheelbase has been reattached. This mm. is the Gisaba warehouse, aka assembly area. Here the newly assembly painted area. body, mm. undercarriage and undercarriage equipment are reassembled. Also, any components previously removed from the carriage interior are reinstalled to create one functioning train car. Once all of the work is complete, it's moved to the final departure warehouse. By the way, each train must pass four levels of periodic inspection, with each mm -hmm. level becoming more and more exhaustive, so inspections are performed every 48 hours. Then, every 60,000 kilometers, about 45 days. After that, every 600,000 kilometers, about 18 months. And finally, at 1.2 million kilometers, mm -hmm. or every 36 months. Which again is the most detailed inspection as it's a complete teardown, repair, and rebuild, taking about 14 days to fully complete. Uh. And the very inspection that I'm showing you today. What? <laughs> requires two train it's amazing! Look at that! I like okay. it. It's look, it looks like light. Mm -hmm. One of them is a trainee, being instructed on how mm -hmm. to safely operate the vehicle. So this is where the individual carriages are finally joined to form one fully functioning and operational 16-car Shinkansen bullet train. Mm -mm. The recoupling process is performed slowly and carefully as the workers make small adjustments by hand to ensure a safe and secure connection. Wow. Thank you. After the train is reconnected, workers reaffix the connecting panels and electrical cables between mm -hmm. the carriages. And from here, the Shinkansen must still undergo an additional 1400 tests in 117 different categories mm -hmm. to ensure it's working properly and safe for passengers to ride.
How much is this? Wow. So they're doing their final inspections right now at the factory, and after that, the train is gonna leave. Okay. My goodness. As part of the final How test, long they the have to do it? Okay. At test run and operates mm -hmm. between Hamamatsu and Nagoya. To further ensure a safe and comfortable ride for Cute. passengers, the final test includes items such as acceleration, deceleration, mm -hmm. stopping, vibration in the cabin, and cabin wow. air pressure in tunnels. Only after fully passing all of these tests wow, is the Wow, like a 700. Operation. Oh my god, oh That's my god. That's how Shinkansen Factory is made in Japan. If you guys like this video, help me out and hit that like button. If you guys want to see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, Hit that subscribe button and the bell button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Wow, really wow guys. Because of this video, I'm not afraid anymore <laughs> yes. to ride on the Shinkansen. Yes, because we know that um, Japanese workers are very careful. They check everything, you know, and so that they could avoid the problems when... The Shinkansen is already operating, which is really good, guys, because uh, you will know that, okay, no problems with a core. Amazing. I'm very impressed with Japan's technology, very advanced. I considered it as one of the uh, wonders of the world. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the Shinkansen, the yeah. bullet train, they have the fastest train on earth. And uh, yeah, you're right. It's very safe. That's number one for us. Safety. Yeah, the safety. And I will not be anxious, uh, you know, while riding because I know how hardworking and very detailed uh, our Japanese workers, uh, they are very uh, dedicated to their jobs. And I want to be one of them. I will mm. apply for any position. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be smart. You have to be dedicated to your work. Yes. If you you will apply. Yes, I and am. And you did the license too. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes, we love the video, guys, and um, we are convinced. We mm -hmm. want to try in the future to ride on the Shinkansen. Yes. Yay. Okay. Channel no credit. Yes. Well, if you love our reaction today, guys, please consider to give us thumbs, thumbs up. Ups. And so YouTube would recommend us into a wider view where that would help us to grow more our channel. And if you are new to our channel, please do subscribe, like, and share our reaction videos. Don't forget as well to hit the notification bell, the tiny bell, so that you'll be updated every time we have new videos. Bottom this. Kat Mimi this. See you guys on our next reaction videos. Love, love, love peace, peace. peace. Bye, Bye for now. Ohayo gozaimashita.